Hello, welcome to Tech2 Business Services instructional video on our spam filtering service. My name is Derek Graham, Technical Account Manager here at Tech2 Business Services. And I appreciate you watching. In this video, we're going to review how to create an account, how to review your spam quarantine summary, how to log into the web portal, how to whitelist, how to blacklist, how to install the plugins for Outlook, and just some best practices. How it works is, is uh, because the spam filtering service is in the cloud, one of the benefits is, is that uh, the spam never hits your email server and also you don't have to install any additional software on your email server so uh, it doesn't take it up additional resources. So let's dive in. So as you can see I have highlighted here is a quarantine summary. In this quarantine summary is all the email that's been filtered, 30 days for that matter. Uh, as you can see, this gives you uh, the most recent thing uh, items that were filtered. And let's take a look at some of the settings or the things that you can do with the actions. So let's say that you uh, see an email in here that you think that might be a legitimate email. It's not spam. What you can do from here is, is you can actually take a look at it. And what I recommend is actually click view and then you can actually view the contents of the email to see if it's actually confirmed to see if it's actually spam or if it's actually a legitimate email. And you actually deliver the email into your uh, inbox from here just by clicking deliver. This doesn't mean that it's going to be whitelisted. The next tab is to delete if you know it's uh, is spam, you can delete it from here. You can whitelist it. So this means that uh, the email is not going to be blocked again. It's going to be added to the safe uh, senders list, if you will. If you click whitelist, as you can see, it was delivered, and then it automatically open up your uh, web portal for you, so you can make the changes, any other changes that you want. But I don't, we're not going to look at that just yet. I don't want to jump ahead. Uh, you could deliver the email again, just as a kind of like a one-time thing. This doesn't actually whitelist the email, so I, uh, if you want to just let it pass through, just because you want to take a look at it uh, one time. Right from here, what you can do is manage your you know blacklist and whitelist. If you click this link right here, what it's gonna do is gonna bring you to this web portal. Now what I'm gonna do, if this is the first time that you're doing this, what's gonna happen for you is you're gonna be prompted with this page right here. What you're gonna have to do is get yourself a password. So how you do that, you're gonna add in your email address. Like this. And then you click create a new password you're going to get an email, and in that email is going to be uh, a password with some random characters and numbers. Also from here, since you're right at this page, we are right at this page, uh, if you click this link right here, save it, run it, uh, what that's going to do for you is, let's take a look at it, is, let's take a look at this email. It's going to add in these two buttons. So right from here, after you install that plugin, you can mark this message as spam, so it'll block it for you in the future, or you can mark it as not as spam. So this way, it allows it through the service, or um, doesn't get caught up in the spam filtering service. So let's take a look. Let's go back to our portal. So what I recommend do, doing is, is once you get logged in. Uh, once you get that password that's sent to you via email, you change it to something that you're going to remember. So you're going to go to preferences, and then go to password. And here, your old password, you're going to put in that random characters and numbers, then enter in your new password, something easier to remember. Let's go through some of these settings here. Uh, let's start with the whitelist, blacklist settings. From here, what you can do is you can add in an email address that uh, manually. So 
that it doesn't get filtered. Whitelist means you know it's going to be allowed through. Right here, as you can see, allowed email addresses. And then if you want to block an email address from getting through, you can add to the blacklist. Your quarantine settings. What this does is, is this is um, how frequently you get the quarantine summary email. So where did it go? This email right here. How often do you get this email? This is where you adjust those settings. You can receive them daily, which I recommend, weekly or never. And then you can put in the email address that you want that delivered to. Uh, I recommend keeping this uh, your email address and receiving these daily. And there's a default language English. And make sure you save the changes over here if you do make any adjustments. Spam settings. This is uh, the sensitivity of the service. I don't recommend changing any of these. Um, would I, uh, if you have questions or uh, you want to dive deeper into this section, I recommend engaging a technical account manager or a system engineer here at Tech2. Now let's look at the last section of the web portal. This is the same thing as the quarantine summary email, except for um, this is kind of like in real time, if you will. So that quarantine summary is sent to you once a day. Let's say you're looking for an email that somebody sent you, uh, you know, let's say at 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, you know you don't receive it in a timely fashion. You can actually log into your web portal, and we'll, uh, you know, just ask your technical account manager system engineer and they'll get you that uh, the URL you know open up Internet Explorer or whatever browser you want to use enter in that URL log in come to this section and you can actually see what's filtered deliver the email market whitelist or blacklist or whatever the case may be right from here so you don't have to wait for the quarantine summary email to come through which is kind of cool so that concludes our instructional video on how to use the spam filtering service provided by Tech2. It's a great service. Uh, emails basically cleanse before it gets to your email server, so that way you're not using up extra resources on your server or bandwidth on your internet connection. Feel free to give us a call uh, if you want to discuss pricing or other adjustments or features. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.